Hey guys, Scott Mitchell here with InMotion Hosting and welcome to another edition of Community Q&A. Now, this is our third video in our Softaculous series and in this one we're going to go over how to make a backup for programs that were installed to your hosting account using Softaculous. Okay guys, third up in our series for Softaculous is uh, backups. How to perform backups for the software that you've installed. Uh, again, as always, we're going to start off here in the C panel. And then we're going to go down and find Softaculous, which is again under Software and Services category. Okay, so here we are, the main Softaculous thing again. Now, the last thing, last video I showed you, we deleted all the ins installations. So I show you, I added a few more back in here. So we have WordPress and a couple of Precious Shop installations. Now, if you'll notice, um, we have uh, two pressure shops. We have one in shop and one in store too. Okay, so we're going to work with uh, those today. Um, you notice they have different versions here. This is 1.4 and this one doesn't have a version which actually if you look over here it's 1.6. Okay, so what we're going to do is say we're going to back up one of our versions. Let's back up say the 1.4. Now from here in this installation area over here the, the icons on the, on the right hand side. Just click on this little, looks like a folder with a, with a a lock or something like that on it. Just give that a click. Okay, this leads to the backup page. Okay, and you can choose whether to backup just the files or the database as well. Okay, this is here. Uh, just if you want to leave a little note to yourself about why you backed it up. Maybe you're getting ready to perform an update. Maybe you're getting ready to install a module. Maybe you're going to do some customizing. Whatever you want to put in there. Just, just a little note to yourself, basically, like a sticky note. And then it gives basic information about the software, uh, just kind of like it does with it when we do the uh, removals. It just kind of gives all the information, what version you have, when it was installed, where it lives, uh, et cetera. So uh, once you're happy with that, just click Backup Installation. This can take a while, depending on how large your software is. In this case, it's not going to take too long because it was just a base installation. So if you have a larger one with a lot of, in this case, Presser Shop is a store, so you have a lot of products going on, you know, you can kind of let this thing run and you can go on and start doing your own thing. And it says it will send you an email once it's completed. Okay? Uh, in this case, we're just going to hang out because it's going to be just finished in just a minute. And there we go. So, finishes backing up. Uh, tell us here in a second that it's done. Not quite sure what 101% means, but. Okay, so here, it was backed up uh, successfully and you can download it from the backups page. Now, you can click this to go to the backups page but you're not going to see this link uh, normally when you come into Softaculous. So you look up here on the icons up here at the top and you're going to go to backup slash restore. Okay, now I have two and I have two on purpose. Uh, what I wanted to show you was if you back up more than one, you're going to have uh, different uh, files here, but it will keep one, it'll keep them all. It's not going to overwrite the previous one. Okay, so I have two different copies. Okay, so maybe I have one from last week and I have one from this week. It's okay. You can see the date is involved in naming the system here. So 2015-0203. Uh, so if I have one maybe it was yesterday, it's the 0202 and this one would say 0203 and I'm not sure. This was a random number or something at the end. But anyway, it does differentiate. So, and it seems to store them in order from oldest to newest. Okay. Uh, so now, go back here, we're going to go back to the uh, application install and you can download those um, backups and keep them on your computer, on your local machine, which is usually the recommended method because you don't want to keep your spare key on your keychain, so to speak. So if the server crashes or you lose your account, you still have a backup at home and then you, know, you, can, you can come back up. Hopefully that doesn't happen, but it's like insurance, it's just in case. Okay, again, just keep a copy somewhere else. Now you can keep that copy there here as well uh, for install. So say we're going to do some changes and I end up deleting the uh, Press Shop 1.4 version from Store 2. So we're going to do a quick removal to pretend we deleted it. Uh, and it might be on purpose. Maybe I tried something else and then I'm like, hey, this didn't work. I'm going to come back and use my Press Shop. So first we're going to go ahead and remove this. and. And then I'll show you how to use the backup. Okay, so there we go. Installation is removed. If I go back to the application installs, you can see only the 1.6 version is there. Okay, 
I'll go back to our backup section here. And you see, it tells you, uh, this says installation has been removed, which was installed here. Uh, you can restore it using the backup. So we're gonna pick which one we want. In this case, they're the same. Um, this is the download button, so if you wanna put it on your computer. But this is the one we wanted to talk to, restore. So we're gonna hit restore. Uh, do you want to restore the directory or the database? In this case, both. Okay, and we're gonna okay and let it put it back in there. Now it says it takes three to four minutes. It basically takes, in this case, as long as the install did because it was just a base version. But it's gonna take about the same amount of time that it did to um, originally back it up. If you should be safe because if you have a larger database, you know, a lot more extra files in there, then it takes more time to put them in there. In this case, okay, it's been done. Let's go back to the application installs and you can see that it has been restored. Okay, just like it was, um, new time I think, but uh, the version number here, if I go to the actual thing, link, then I should see my store. And there it is, there's the base store, just like 1.4 used to be. Okay, so that is how you deal with backups in the Softaculous. Again, if you do a backup, uh, make sure you do download it to your local machine just to have an extra copy, even if it's only one copy. Um, they do take up space on your account, so make sure that you, if you have a, an account that does have space, a limited number of space, just, just be, be aware of that. And um, let's see, downloading is good. And backup, uh, as far as how to often to backup, I would say backup at least say once a week, keep that weekly copy. I wouldn't, I would overwrite those or at least delete the other ones. I would, don't need to keep, you know, 18 weeks of backups, but at least have that last backup for the last week. If you're gonna do anything important, such as making changes or anything, uh, before you do it, do make a backup just in case. Okay, and then you make the changes. If you didn't like them or you can't figure out how to remove them, then you can just restore on top of it. All right, so that's backups in Softaculous. Well guys, that's it for another edition of Community Q&A. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and subscribe to the YouTube channel below. Also, don't forget to leave any questions you have in the comment section so we know what to bring you in a future video. Thanks and have a great day. Do you know the InMotion Hosting Support Center has thousands of articles, pictures, and video tutorials to help you out with your web hosting questions? It's something for everyone, from beginners to experts. Join our community and sign up with your Facebook or Google Plus for free swag, prizes, and discounts. Visit our support center at InMotionHosting.com support.